Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where there's been some debate on Discord about the merits of remaining allied to the Ottomans. Now I do want to address this a little bit. I'm currently leaning towards retaining our alliance with the Ottomans for now, and I want to go into a little bit the reasons for and against it. So I've given this a fair amount of thought, and I think there are decent arguments to be made both for and against it. The primary argument that I'm going to be going with for the against abandoning our alliance with the Ottomans category is a couple of things. First, the diplomatic argument. What other friends do we have? Legit question. What other friends are even possible? So if we go around and look at our allies, we've got the Ottomans. I mean, they're our friends. They're reasonably strong still, especially once we were to help them clean all of this up, right? They'd be reasonably strong still. They're Miltech 13 still. I don't know where their military power is going, but uh, yikes. That could potentially become a liability later on, especially if we don't help them. Russia. They hate us. Uzbek. We could ally them. They're getting wrecked by Russia right now. They've got 14,000 troops. Karadel. They've got 7,000 troops. Bengal. They hate us. Jampur. They hate us. Gujarat. They hate us. So that's kind of our options, right? And that pretty much comes down to the Ottomans are our only option option there. Now, like I said, the Ottomans are likely to become a bit of a liability, especially without help. They're very weak right now. I just looked in here and saw that they now have 10,000 ducats of debt. If they were forced into bankruptcy, problems would ensue. So specifically, what would end up happening? Austria, Venice, these guys would be very into attacking over here. The question is, how much do we care about that? We would get pulled into those wars, but I'm not sure that we actually do care. Now, we're currently helping them in their war to protect their vassal, or rather to retain their vassal. And that's reasonably fine, I think. We can continue to work on that. We can work on helping them deal with all of this situation. But we need to keep in mind, especially as their Miltech continues to fall behind they could become more of a liability than a help. Right now, given the diplomatic situation, I don't believe that's the case. I believe that just having the Ottomans on our side, on paper, even if not in reality, on paper makes us look like a lot less tempting of a target for someone like Russia plus Venice. They're currently allied. So if those two were to declare on us and we didn't have the Ottomans, it would be grim. It'd be grim even with the Ottomans right now. So that's definitely a consideration, right? So I think that's what I'm coming down to. If we help the Ottomans, they will be a bulwark for us against this general European area, right? That's the idea. And that allows us to expand this direction into India, potentially into Russia. That means that we are not going westward, at least for the moment, if we remain allied with the Ottomans. As the Ottomans get cut down here, because that'll almost certainly happen as the truce with Venice runs out, if Austria gets interested in this, currently Austria is not super strong. But one thing to consider is the Ottomans are still the number one great power in the world. Even with all of this going on, the Ottomans are still number one. So I think that there's a good argument here that we retain our friendship with the Ottomans, we help them with their current problems, and we leverage them against Russia, against India, particularly those two. We don't really need their help going out this direction, right? But against India and Russia in particular, they'll be handy to have around. And once we can take over some of these areas, we'll be in a lot better of a position to stand on our own. So that's the overall concept here. Now I want to check here. Minus three now? Okay, noted. So, Bashkiria is a bit awkward, no doubt about that. So, that's the arguments for and against breaking our alliance with the Ottomans. It's interesting, but I think given the broader diplomatic picture, we need a friend, and a powerful friend, to keep Russia, Europe, and India at bay. Because we could take one of each of those, most likely. We certainly couldn't take two. And if all three jump in... 
oh boy, we need a lot of help. <laughs> no doubt about that. So that's the broad argument for why I think right now is the time to keep the alliance with the Ottomans. And even help them out. I would love to take some Ottoman territory here. I'm very tempted to do it. But I don't think it's a good plan at this moment. I think we need to look at the bigger picture here. And we need to just say, look, we are not prepared to stand on our own against the threats out at our doorstep. Because Russia plus Venice can definitely defeat us. What about, say, Jampur and Gujarat? Which they are likely to team up against us. I don't know if Bengal would jump in on that one. I think that... Are you... Ali or, yeah, you're rivaled with Bengal. So that would probably not happen. But, like, 115k, Miltech 16, that's a threat. It's not insurmountable. We could defeat Jampur. But what if we throw in Gujarat? That's another 50k Miltech 15 troops. That starts to tip the tides there. So, we definitely do need friends. And the Ottomans are the only option on the table right now. At least in terms of sufficiently powerful to be worth anything. So, I think it comes down to we need to remain friends with the Ottomans. But it was definitely an entertaining thought experiment to think about what exactly would be the ramifications of either way of this. So, that was definitely enjoyable. We're going to head down and help the Ottomans out with their rebel problem over here. In the meantime, of course, war has changed. Okay, so the Ottomans are now using firearms. Cool. Good job, Ottomans. So we are killing these rebels, no problem there, and we're just going to take back some of these Ottoman territories. In the meantime, of course, we are moving through Egypt over here. Now, we know that Egypt has a fair number of forces, that said, we have better Miltech than they do. So I'm not sure exactly how things would go if we were to fight their entire 71k with our 40k. Probably not too great. I don't think Miltech 17 is that impactful, is it? So uh, Miltech 17, I forget what exactly the Flintlock musket unlocks. Miltech 18 is pretty good. No doubt about that. But Miltech 17, I think, is kind of a mediocre one, if I remember correctly. So there is that. We're going to continue to eliminate some of these Ottoman regions, or rather, some of these Ottoman... Ottoman rebel-controlled reason regions. That is the word I'm looking for. Fantastic. We can also think about giving Ottomans gifts to help pay off their debt. We can't pay their entire debt. They're up to 10,430. We probably don't want to send them gifts right now because we definitely do want to embrace printing press as soon as we can. Checking in at the progress over here, 41%. It's going to be a little slower because we're at war right now, but we are going to get printing press pretty soon. We'll get some diplomatic power. Wonderful. And that allows us to get an idea, which I think is okay. We'll grab a trade idea here. Trade range will be fine. So that looks good. The heretics of Jask have been converted. And of course, we need to make these into cores. There we go. Phenomenal. So we're continuing to take back these Ottoman areas over here. We do see that the, that the Ottomans have been working on this up here as well. We also see some, ter some, some troops heading this direction. Some Egyptian troops heading this direction. So that's fine. We're going to hang out down over here for the time being. They're not going to be too into fighting us unless they have a significant numerical advantage in this region. So that is noted. We're going to head down over here. We've taken out the rebels that are down here. Ottomans can handle a fair number of these themselves, but for now, we're just going to be fighting their war here for them. Actually, we do see that Baluchistan is going to be fighting over here. Poland is making their king supreme. So, Baluchistan was stack wiped there. We're making our way down, and the question is, can we catch this part of the army? Yes, we can, actually. So, our royal marriage with Baluchistan just ended. We should probably re-up that. There we go. Phenomenal. So, we caught this, this lagging section of the army, right? That's great. So, that's 22k that we caught separate. We didn't stack wipe them, but we did catch them separately. And that's a very big deal. Unfortunately, the truce with Venice is now up. 
Venice can declare on the Ottomans anytime they choose, and I would not be surprised to see Venice declare on the Ottomans. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked they haven't already done it. I would have. No doubt about that. We just stack wiped another portion of Egypt's army there. So, I mean, they're 87k. They are still expanding their army overall. So that's certainly noted. We do have a Miltech advantage on them, so we are winning these battles relatively simply. No real issue there. If they're going to leave this unit of cannon here, we're going to stack wipe that. Absolutely. So we're going to head straight on down there. Yeah, these guys are out of here. Excellent. We can invite a scholar, and that is going to be plus one merchants. Okay. Sure, we'll do that. We now have a little bit more trade range. So can we push trade out over here? Yes, we can. So we're going to send him on over to transfer trade power over this way. That'll be fine. Excellent. So that looks reasonably fine. That'll boost up our income a tiny amount anyway. And we'll just continue to get territory out over here. We're at 11% war score right now. Ottomans have a lot of rebels going on. No doubt about that. I am honestly shocked that Venice hasn't declared on the Ottomans. I absolutely would have. 10,000%. I would have. I'm going to take our army up over here. We can start dealing with some of these rebels. Continuing to move towards mysticism is good. We will absolutely do that. We don't quite have the ability to get the manpower yet. And we could definitely use the manpower, especially if we're going to deal with all of these rebels, right? The real question here is, they're at low war enthusiasm. Is Ottomans going to just, like, white piece this? They should, in my opinion. Ottomans absolutely should white piece this. So we're just continuing to make our way through here. Ottoman rebels are fighting each other, which is always nice. No doubt about that. But yeah, I just, I think that we really should help Ottomans here and just try to put them into as good of a position as we can. We just lost a stability there. That brings us down to plus one. We were at plus two for a good long time. So that's absolutely fine. No problems at all. And this is all absolutely fine down over here. Okay, so we won the Battle of Tikrit. We're no longer considered a great power. That is, of course, because we lack our printing press institution. We'll get that soon enough. 85.87% there. And in our capital, it's only 31%. But yeah, we're definitely making some progress on that front. Cool. So we're just working our way through their rebels over here. And in the meantime, dealing with Egypt. Egypt is back up to medium war enthusiasm. Now back down to low because of fighting these rebels over here. Gotcha. So that's absolutely fine. Ottomans are fighting here, but I kind of want to just push through and fight over here. Now we'll clean this up nice and quickly, but then we're going to go deal with these rebels for them. Fantastic. And we should be getting a bunch of opinion from them for this. Yeah, defended our provinces. So that's absolutely great. A bunch of Ottoman opinion. And we'll just continue to push our way through Egypt here. I don't think Ottomans are going to give us any territory for this. They might. If they did, that'd be great. We'd be happy about that. Russia was building a spy network. That's not shocking, considering that Ottomans are having significant issues right now. We're not, though. And if it's just Russia, we don't actually care about that. We can deal with just Russia. If it's Venice, things get a little spicier. We can deal with Venice. We can deal with Venice plus Russia, in theory, anyway. Without the help of the Ottomans. But if India gets uppity at the same time, then we've got problems. And that's why we need a friend. So we win our battle up over here. Let's go siege back this location. That'll auto cap a bunch of these anyway. So that'll be good. We'll go get that back. And we'll just help out the Ottomans a fair amount here. For the, mean, or for the moment, I want to go take the Egyptian capital. We're at 31% war score right now. So that seems absolutely fine. We're going to have this siege done soon enough. We just gained half a point of corruption, but that's going to go down naturally. So I'm not too concerned about that. Let's go hit the Egyptian capital at Cairo. No problem whatsoever there. Bengal was building a spy network. Indeed. 
And we do see a lot of vassal troops down over here, capping back a lot of this territory. Now, they have a fair amount of forces down here, but they are actually losing that battle. So that's great. We're going to lose to corruption here. There we go. And we're going to finish up this siege very quickly. So that's wonderful that we won that battle that quickly. And we'll just make our way through here. Land technology research is currently useless. We could lose some military power. We're ahead of time right now in that. Speaking of which, we could take the Engineer Corps to boost up our siege ability. That would be absolutely great. We do want to let these forces regenerate a little bit. And our army is currently grand. Excellent. So we find ourselves at 65% war score. The question is, when are the Ottomans going to exit this? I'm sure they're going to be interested in exiting it very, very soon. Bengal is planning... Okay, that's fine. We don't, we don't care about that. I want to come up and eliminate these Ottoman pretender rebels, although we do see these guys right here. So we may want to go deal with them first and then go up and deal with the Ottoman pretender rebels. That'll probably be for the best. So we're just going to continue to occupy out over here. These should be auto-capping back. And indeed they are. Cool. Okay, so this is going reasonably well, right? We have no major issues here. Although there could be some issues that brew up if we don't have the Ottomans. Oh, that's an 82k stack and a 107k stack. Those are big. Okay, that's definitely noted. We need to make our way up over this way and help out the Ottomans. So, and that is indeed exactly what we're going to do. In the meantime, I do want to think about attacking over here. We see these guys coming in. These are stragglers, and I absolutely want to fight the stragglers here. There we go. Then we're going to go up and fight the troops that Baluchistan kept busy for us for a little bit. Wonderful. So that'll be great. We're, of course, going to eliminate this unit of Ottoman pretender rebels. There we go. We're mostly interested right now in not necessarily taking back the Ottoman territory here, but in eliminating the troops, right? And I do see that uh, there are some Sunni zealots out over here. These guys are starting to cap back over this way. That's okay. I'm not too concerned about that. Surely the Ottomans are going to be interested in exiting this war soon, right? Surely. They're going to be interested in exiting this war. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Maybe? Maybe. Ottomans are definitely increasing their strength with our help, though. There's no doubt about that. Ottomans are getting a fair amount stronger. I actually want to head down this way. No guy should have that under control. So we'll allow no guy to do that. We'll just come in and fight this 56k stack then. Which the Ottomans are not really super able to do right now. And then I want to come down over this way. They've sieged down through here a bit, and we definitely want to take back some of this territory. I also see this force out over here. We probably are more interested in keeping their capital. Most likely. How's this battle going? Absolutely fine. Excellent. We can make some states down over this way, or at least a state. There we go. And we can get full cores there. Fantastic. And yes, as expected, they are at their capital. They're already at 21% on that siege. That's kind of remarkable, actually. So that's, I guess, fine for now. If they finish that siege, well, we'll see. They may or may not finish it. They finished it first round. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. We're going to come down and fight additional troops down here. Not sure where that 100k stack went. They might have gone into, like, Serbia? Austria just declared on Galicia Volhynia, so that is actually very good. We're very glad that they didn't declare on the Ottomans. No doubt about that. Okay, so we're going to continue to push through this Ottoman territory. There are still a few rebels out over this way, but we've cleared up most of the Ottoman rebels for them at this point. So that's all good. We ourselves have a revolt. And we're going to head back over this way to deal with those Ottomans. And these guys, who have been in reserve this whole time, are going to move over to deal with this revolt. So over we go. No problem. We're going to take back the capital of Cairo. And now we're going to head up and eliminate this force if we can. We're back up to 67% here. And ticking is on our side. Right. For defending the capital. Okay, cool. 
They've got decent, I think, fire phases there, but they did retreat. So that is good. So, looking at the rest of the Ottoman territory here, we definitely need to make our way back over here and fight these rebels for them. Like, we're basically doing all of the work for the Ottomans right now. If we look at this war, we can see that the Ottomans only have 32% war participation. We have 64% down here. We've also been instrumental in dealing with their rebel situation. Absolutely instrumental. They would not be in this position at all if it wasn't for us. And that's good. We want that situation to be the case. Honestly, we want to be the senior partner in this, right? So th this, is, this is ultimately a good thing. We're going to head on down from Alexandria here. The Ottomans are still strong navally, which we aren't. We don't have a single ship. <laughs> that is definitely a thing. And we find ourselves currently... Oh, nice. These guys moved directly into us. Cool. So that's absolutely great. More rebels have spawned out over here for the Ottomans. That's not shocking. I want to take a look. How are they doing now? They're still Miltech 13. They're at minus two stability. They were at minus one earlier, so they lost another stability. And I want to check to see how are they doing for... Oh, we're not a great power anymore. So instead, we need to go into here, I think. But we, need, we would need to declare on, like, one of their allies. So Aiden over here, hypothetically. So if we were to do this, Ottomans would not do this because they're fighting a war on the same side as the enemy. Yeah, uh, I want to know exactly how much debt they have. That's probably in the ledger, right? So, loans. That's just us? Okay. Well, at any rate, they have a lot. We know that they have at least 10,000. Or had at least 10,000. So that's all fine for the time being. We are currently taking over territory over here. We find ourselves at 81% war score against Egypt, and that's looking good. I do want to make our way back over to fight these Janissary rebels. There we go. But the Ottomans are definitely starting to clean things up with our significant help. There's no doubt that they would not be at this point without us. But we have managed to clean things up quite a bit. The Ottomans have gone... No, I don't want to curry favors. The Ottomans have gone to 36k in terms of troop count. So they've lost a few troops from when we last looked. But they're definitely going to start building that back up. These guys actually retreated. They didn't get stack wiped. Okay. We're just going to fight these guys right here. And we'll continue to push through Egypt over this way. We're at 94% with Egypt right now. That didn't stack wipe either, so we're going to need to move back over here. There we go. That did stack wipe. Okay, so those Janissaries are now dealt with. Perfect. Now, of course, there's some Separatists down over here. And there's also some Separatists up over this way. So for now, we're at 98% with Egypt. So hopefully... Who did Austria just declare on? I didn't actually read that. Nitra, okay. So hopefully, Ottomans are going to end this war very, very quickly. That would be great. We'd be very happy. We're 99%. They're capped there right now. In theory, Ottomans should be very interested in ending this. In theory. For the time being, we're going to head down this way and make sure that we hold Cairo. Looks like they're just leaving. So that seems reasonably good. We've got this under control. Let's go deal with these Shia Zealots. Excellent. So, we have to occupy every single province that they have in order to hit 100%. And they cannot occupy a single one of our provinces. So there is that. We need to come down over here to actually get these. Our mission has been fulfilled to build a treasury. That gives us yearly inflation reduction for 25 years. We'll definitely take that. And now I want to check in on the status of printing press. 9.9%. Okay. So, uh, when is this actually going to be available? 
next province, obviously. Another thing we could do is we could just come in here. Boom. Can we do it now? We can for 3,000 ducats. So currently we're going down by a decent amount of corruption. I kind of want to debase our currency a couple of times here, maybe even one more time, which allows us to embrace this institution right now. Boom. So there we go. Does that put us back into a great power? No, it doesn't. But this, I think, might have to update. Okay, 623. So we're not quite a great power without global trade, but that's fine. Just getting printing press is a huge deal for us. Absolutely huge. Yeah, that'll make things so much cheaper. So global trade is now spreading in, although kind of slowly. Although it's 81% in our capital. So that's looking reasonably good on that front. Cool. Now, I was really hoping that the Ottomans would be smart enough to get out of this war. They really should. Knowledge sharing from Bashkiria? Actually, we accept that. They're our vassal. That's Actually, they're not our vassal. That's these guys up over here. We are interested in it, though. Hang on. Two reasons? And we're low on our opinion. So we'll absolutely take that. So we're just heading down over this way. Ah, there we go. The Egypt War is now officially over. So Ottomans took a bunch of additional territory over here. They didn't give us any, which we didn't expect. So we're now going to head back home with this unit. Or maybe we should take this unit up over here, actually. Take that back. Yeah, that'll do for now. Also, hi, Georgia and Armenia. We might want to do something about Georgia and Armenia. I'm not sure. We'll think about it. For now, of course, Ottomans are getting things under control. They're not fully under control yet, but they're making solid progress. We can seize land, and we definitely want to do that. So we'll seize that land back. And I want to come up to Bashkiria over here. So Bashkiria would not currently accept vassalization. They have two reasons not to. Current trust levels are maxed. Okay, no guy tribes. No guy can handle that. We're not too concerned about that one. For now, I'm going to pull these guys back out of the Ottomans. We've done a lot of work at this point in getting the Ottomans back on their feet. No doubt about that. There is still some work to be done here. There's a fair number of rebels still out there. And Venice has improved their lenses. Good job, Venice. Ottomans want to trade favors for ducats. Yes, we'll give them some ducats. That's actually okay. No problem whatsoever there. We can invest in an idea. This will be land force limit modifier, which I absolutely do want to take here. Let's check in real quick at how far ahead of time we are on Miltech. Seven years. So yeah, this should be fine. We're going to grab that. No issue whatsoever. And then we're going to be able to grab some bonus discipline soon enough in offensive ideas. So that is great. Now, taking a look at our land force limit now, we can get kind of an additional 20, like 19 Okay, we could expand our army sizes in theory. So that is something that we can definitely do. For the moment, we're going to come up here and deal with some of these Ottoman rebels. But the Ottomans are being given a lot of breathing room here, right? There are definitely still some rebels down here in Egypt. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm going to have these guys be parked here for now. You can start drilling. And once you arrive here, you can start drilling as well. There you go. We're just making our way around and taking out some of these rebel forces. No problem. So that all looks good. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue to help out the Ottomans a little bit here. I think they're going to be able to stand on their own quite soon. But they're not quite there yet. That's for sure. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching.
If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.